The lack of liquidity makes trading so much fun. What's up, everybody? Welcome aboard to Bubba's Eye Update for Thursday, June the 18th, Triple Witching Thursday. Uh, tomorrow is obviously Triple Witching Friday, which is really is a non-event in these days because they've already expired most of the things that used to all expire at one time. But what an illiquid market, man. These things have been flying all over the place. The Dow was down about 400 overnight, came all the way back, got positive. Uh, NASDAQ, everything's been all over. Okay, and it's because of the lack of liquidity for no other reason than we have a liquidity issue. And of course, as the Fed continues to tell us they're trying to infuse liquidity, they're taking it away. But we'll, we'll get into the Fed another day. In the meantime, markets, the NASDAQ just turned positive. Dow was still down, S&P down. NAS, excuse me, Russell has been exploding higher. End of the day, we are short everything but the NASDAQ. Dow, Russell, and S&P. And again, that will not change, as I say, every day. So we'll see what happens. And of course, uh, again, I don't have any predictions, but there, I will predict this. There's a 10% plus move coming in one direction or the other. Which way? I'm not sure yet. But there's going to be a, about a 10% move. That would be my, my gauge of what I'm seeing with this action. Uh, gold, phew, God, every day I say the same thing. It's ugly, okay? It had, it had a huge move this morning. It looked like it was going to get right to resistance at 1750. Bang, down it was. Now down around 1728 or so. 25, it's 2725 to 1750, but it looks awful. Okay, We won't be changing today, but it looks brutal. Along with silver, all of a sudden, now it looks brutal. We are still short platinum and long gold and silver, but they all look bad. Okay, and we'll, again, we'll see where we go from here. Again, we're not going to prejudge or jump. I'm just giving you the what it looks like from my views here. Uh, the bond market, you know, they're higher. So here we go once again. You know, right? The Fed keeps the Fed keeps fiddling around in markets, and they're pushing bonds higher, which makes the dollar higher now. And and of course, we're long bonds, not bad. Short dollars, not good. But again, it, it is what it is. I don't. Again, I can't. I can't try to worry about it. The way I look at my all my positions, it's one big position. I can't look at. The individual components. All I care is at the end of the day what the bottom line is. In the meanwhile, copper is a little bit higher and we're still long, and net gas is a little lower and we're still short. Uh, and, you know, again, crude oil, now I think it's higher. It's been on both sides. It, it's, again, it's the same thing uh, that we're continuing to see here. Uh, and and uh, grains have been a little whippy. They're getting some action. And to me, we're long beans and, so and wheat. I mean, excuse me, beans and corn, as I said, along. Uh, now, I, I think they're going to make a big breakout to the upside. I think when you look at the the funds are short, the commercials are long, and I think the commercials will beat the crap out of them easily. That's just an opinion, again. But the action looks like there's a big move coming there, and I don't see that big move lower in the grain markets. Wheat is struggling, but it has come back. It's only down a fraction right now. Let's see how it ends up today. Uh, meats are, are slightly lower across the board. But again, I'd expect them to start to take off as well. We're still short hogs and long cattle, but I'd expect hogs to pop a rally and give us a buy signal here pretty soon. Uh, again, again, we don't argue, we don't change it, we just follow it, okay? And that's the beauty of our algorithms because again, keep the emotion out, keep the decision out, and you don't, then you don't get crazy in these illiquid markets. And for those of you who trade credit spreads or, or hedging or whatever you're doing, uh, SPY, the spies, and the diamonds go back to dividend tomorrow morning. Now, there's still a lot of premiums, so I'm not really concerned. But if you've got deep in the money options, check the premiums late in the day. You may have to close or roll those positions because you, you are favorite to get assigned on those positions if you are short deep in the money options that have no premium up. So if you know how to do that, make sure you check it. In the meantime, don't forget, Technomental. It is, in my opinion, the best commodity report out there, okay? It is written by a man that's done it for 40 years, traveled the world, number one silver trade in the world, number one author at Seeking Alpha. Uh, again, has a great understanding of the commodity space, uh, does a lot of stuff for the major, the major manufacturers, uh, you know, the suppliers and the developers of this stuff. So, again, 
I would certainly want to, I encourage you to take a look at it. That's Tech to Mental. You can get that at BubbaTrading.com. And of course, don't forget about our great brokerage partners, CTG for futures and commodities. And again, I'm just telling you, they do a great job. Their customer service is great. Uh, I have all my, all my, almost all my accounts there. Uh, and I also have, uh, they, they handle all of our lead direction. And they trade for me based on the algorithms. So again, and plus the fact that they've got some great new products as well that we'll be introducing soon to you. But again, it's, it's some great stuff, okay, that you can look at and of course, trade your brokerage for equities. I mean, again, the first thing is $10 a month. That's the first thing. So you keep hearing that free crap from the others when they're really not free. So you get 10 bucks a month, you get great customer service, and we tie into their API. So when we come out, we have a lot of ourselves already automated, especially our hedging, but we're gonna do some more but it'll have to be through Trader right now. And, and again, it's phenomenal. And we just love dealing with them. And again, the, the, the fees are obviously a big thing because I'd rather put the money in my pocket than somebody else's. In the meantime, don't forget about the high school program, uh, patreon.com forward slash Bubba Trading. That's patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N.com forward slash Bubba Trading. And you know, again, it's a liquid, it is challenging. They're all over the place. You wanna trade? No worries. Just make sure you know your exit, be careful. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you back here tomorrow with another Bubba's Daily Update for Triple Witching Friday. Take care, everybody. Have a great day.